Hey, this is Gabby. I'm a breeder chicken farmer from North Georgia, and today I'm going to show y'all how to build a cool cell for your chicken house. What you're looking at is a cool cell. Now, if you're just looking for a quick definition of a cool cell, it's basically a simple air conditioning system that uses water to cool down air. The system forces air to pick up water, or in this case, you can call it moisture, and that is how the air is cooled down. The system also works in tandem with a fan to help transport the air over a wide area. Back during the summer of 2016, my father and I built a cool cell for our chicken house. Our chicken house was built in 1977 and originally did not have cool cell technology. I believe in the late 80s or sometime near the 90s, my, my father and my grandfather built the first cool cell for the chicken house. And now in 2016, we're adding a second cool cell to the left side of the house. The original cool cell is on the right side. So let me begin building the cool cell. The first thing we did was clear the left side of the chicken house and smoothed out the dirt with the tractor. I unfortunately don't have any before and after pictures, but here's the tractor with the scraper blade in the back. While we were doing some landscaping one day on the side of the chicken house, I found an old knife of mine that I had lost years earlier. This is the first knife I had ever bought in my life, and it's a 4 inch cold steel tie light. It originally had the tip, however. I still carry the knife, uh, even with the broken tip. It's, <laughs> it's somehow even sharper than I, than I remember. After clearing the area, and after we had finally finished installing a French drain that runs from the front of the chicken house to the middle of the chicken house, we installed 4x4s about 5 feet from the chicken house and connected them with those 2x6s at the top. To attach the 4x4s to the chicken house, we then installed these supports that connect the 4x4s to the trusses of the chicken house. On top of the supports, we nailed in runners perpendicular to the supports, and that is what the tin will be nailed to later on. Next, we put another set of 4x4s about a foot from the chicken house, and they're about 8 feet apart. These 4x4s will support the water trough and the pads with the help of the 2x6s at the bottom. On the 2x6s, we screwed in metal brackets, and these brackets are what directly hold the water trough. Here's a picture of all the pads and a single section of the trough. The trough will be placed on top of the brackets and the pads will be placed on top of the trough. Before placing the trough in the pads, however, I sealed up the spaces above the cool cell system with thin pieces of plywood. On the right of the picture you see are, the, are one of those pieces of plywood and that is designed to keep air from flowing above the pads. We, we only want air traveling through the pads or else the air is not cooled down. Below the brackets and attached to the 2x6s, we screwed in a metal sheet to help deter wild animals from trying to dig underneath the cool cell. The metal sheet goes about 6 inches below the ground. Once the metal sheet was in place, we started to install the brackets designed to hold the PVC pipe that transports water to the system. After installing the water pipe brackets, we finally decided to install the tin on top of the cool cell. The tin on the cool cell has to ride underneath the tin of the chicken house forever, so that's why I'm removing these screws with this ancient device. Removing the screws allows me to pull up the old tin and slide the new tin underneath. Here, here's the new tin in place. You can see that I haven't installed all the screws yet, but you get the idea. You can see that the trough is in place as well in the bottom of the shot. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage or pictures of us installing all the pipe and pipe covers or pads, but it's pretty straightforward, so here's basically the finished cool cell. The system works in one big circle. Water is pumped up to the top of the cool cell and is sprayed all over the top. The pads soak up the water as eight giant fans at the back of the chicken house suck air through the pads. The air that travels through the pads grabs up a bunch of water and cools down. Any remaining water from the pads falls down into the trough and is recycled back into the system. The setup you see here is, was only temporary and about a year later we installed a 5 foot PVC pipe that has a diameter of 2 feet, 3 feet and we installed it into the ground where you see that quarter of a barrel. 
We sealed the ends of the cool cell with more tin and installed a door at the front of the cool cell. Later on, we plugged up that gap you see between the pad and the 4x4. We spent about two months of the summer of 2016 building the cool cell. Now, with two cool cells for the chicken house, the temperature could be dropped by 10 to 15 degrees in a matter of minutes, which is pretty cool. Hey, if you uh, like the videos I make and you want to stay up to date on what I'm doing channel wise, I post weekly updates on Facebook where I tell y'all what video I'm going to make for that week or if I'm going on vacation. So check me out on Facebook. There's a link in the description. Also, if you just want to chat, talk about farming, talk about air guns, you can also hit me up on Facebook as well. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching.